Hey YTPC, hello from Chicago where it's, um, last I checked, 12 degrees. So um, I've been itching to get this kind of uh, comparison out, so I'm fighting the weather a little bit, uh, staying warm, I got two pairs of socks on. So um, today I'm gonna be comparing um, HH Burley Flake and uh, Solani Aged Burley Flake. Um, just a little bit of a caveat, I'm not a huge Burley fan. I don't hate it, but it's not something I generally go to on a regular basis. But I had both of these, I thought it'd be a fun comparison. Um, I don't have the tins for both. Um, I do have the HH Burley Flake tin. Uh, if you wanted to do a comparison, here's the HH Burley Flake. Um, very nice, thin, kind of just a, kind of a medium brown color. And then I had I had this in the jar, so it's not as flat as it was before, but there's the Solani Aged Burley Flake. Um, just to give you an idea, um, they both have, I think, Burleys from three different countries. I think the Solani has some white Burley, uh, and then the HH Burley Flake has um, a, little, a little teeny bit of Virginia, and it also has a little teeny bit of um, dark fire. Now, I don't like um, Burleys all that much, but I really don't like dark fire, but the dark fire amount with the content in the Burley Flake is um, not that much. So if you don't like dark fire, but you do like Burleys, you might still like this one. So anyways, I've got, uh, again, dueling custom built pipes, and um, I thought I'd do a quick comparison for you. So I'll start with the HH Burley Flake. I'm about a quarter of the way down each bowl, um, and I'll let you kind of know what I think. I don't know if it's just the cold, but they really do seem to put off a good amount of smoke. But they do both tend to burn pretty cool. Burley to me is a little bit nondescript. I get a little bit of a you know, sometimes when you're eating walnuts, that kind of bitter, kind of not the shell, but the skin over the walnut has a, you know, a little bit of bitterness to it. I get that from this. They both have kind of a, they say they don't have any topping, but they, they both have kind of a, I guess, a natural kind of chocolate cocoa kind of uh, nose to them in the tin. Um, I don't really get a whole lot of cocoa, maybe a little bit of bitter chocolate. Um, yeah, just a little bit nutty. I guess that's kind of the, the, the thing people say about Burleys. I guess I get that. I get a little bit of like a walnut sour, you know, bitterness. Not super bitter, but that little bit of walnut bitterness. Um, but Burleys to me are a little bit nondescript. Um, I don't like like haunted bookshops, not a favorite of mine. I like both of these more than I like that. Something about the kind of anaerobic, anaer anaerobic you know aging process where it's pressed um, helps the burley in my opinion um, yeah but they both they both smoke really well if you're a burley lover um, you're gonna like both of these blends um, in my opinion as someone that's not a burley fan these are two of the best just burley based blends out there I know a lot of McBaron just released their like maybe Burley London something or other. Um, so I thought this was kind of timely comparison. People were thinking about Burley blends. Um, so I thought I'd do this comparison. I haven't had the McBaron, although this is now, yeah, this is a McBaron. The HH Burley Flake is a McBaron uh, blend.
but um, you know, I, I struggle to find adjectives for burly blends. Um, they just taste like burlies. <laughs> uh, they smoke really well, um, but to me, I just wouldn't want to blend based on these. Um, so the smoking characteristics, the quality of the tobacco um, is top notch. So if you like burlies, give these a shot. All right, I'll switch over to the Solani Age Burley Flake. I sent a tin of this to the bearded Welshman. I don't think he loved it. It's not, you know, I think he felt the way I feel about it. It's, it's if you like, if you're a huge Burley fan, fan, these are right up your alley. But if you, you know, I like more Virginia's, Virginia Periques and English mixtures. So these are just, they're okay. I, you know, I'd give them both a six out of 10 as someone who doesn't really like Burley. Um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're fairly similar to my taste. The Solani might have... Just a hair more of an edge to it, I think. Well, I don't know. The the Burley Flake, because it's got the Virginia, it has just a touch of sweetness, but then it's also got the dark fire um, that adds kind of a kick to it. Um, this one's got the white Burley, which doesn't add a lot. Um, You can probably hear the wind blowing outside. It's cold, there's some wind chill. It's not a, a night you'd want to be outside. Uh, I have an unheated garage, as you could probably tell. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, to my palate, they're pretty, pretty similar. I don't know that I, I could pick them out of the lineup if you had, uh, if you gave me a bowl of one and told me, tell me to pick which one, I don't know that I could tell you the difference. Which, I want to say the Solani, it's not hard to come by, but it's a little bit harder to find. So, if you like that, I would definitely give the HH Burley Fake a, a, a flake a try. Uh, it's a little, that's pretty, pretty, every, pretty much everywhere.